And today, the Strong Museum of Play here in Rochester announced 12 nominees for the Toy Hall of Fame. Only three or four will make the final cut this fall. A group of judges make their selections based on icon status, longevity, discovery, and innovation. Dan Gross has the full breakdown for us now. Here's class full of many strong characters. Many of them have been nominated before. But that's not the only thing that's different behind this class. Chief Curator at the Strong, Christopher Bench. In a typical year, we get six to 7,000 nominations for maybe four or 500 different toys. But we had 55,000 nominations for 940 different toys. Props to Christopher for going through that whole spreadsheet, by the way. Let's group all of our 12 nominees into three categories that I've devised. First, Dolls and action figures. We've got Cabbage Patch Kids, American Girls, and Masters of the Universe. Gave you an entire backstory. They gave you a universe of characters, heroes, villains, something that kids could really buy into. Next, board and party games, billiards, battleship, mahjong, and counterparts, Risk and Catan. Two very different games, Settlers of Catan and Risk. Risk is a game of global domination. An absolute polar opposite is the Settlers of Catan, now known as just Catan. It is a collaborative game. Finally, elemental and classic games. The Toy Fire Engine, Pinata, the Fisher Price Corn Popper, and, well, sand. Whether that's on the beach, whether that's in your sandbox, sand is a tool for therapy. Out of these 12, again, only three make the cut. And it's based on a vote of panel of judges and a fan vote, sure to be boisterous this year. Okay, all of those sound great. But there is always one, isn't there? It's like the ball, and now we got there's sand. Chalk, I know. There's one every year that you think, <laughs> how is this not in yet? That's it. With the selections this year, it's going to be pretty tight ahead of the final vote in November. Yeah, all right. So I know we always have a little bit of fun with this when it comes Just to our office input yes. and all that stuff. So anyway, um, I want to get your picks, by the way. Okay, so starting off with my picks, I, I got a feeling it's going to be Risk. It's been nominated before. Uh, sorry, Christian Garzon. We'll get to his take in, in just a second. But I do think Cabbage Patch is going to get in, and sand, uh, sand has just got to be in. Sand has got You're going with Sand. Yeah. You're that kind of guy. You mentioned Christian Garzon. He usually always weighs in. He has an opinion about this. He does. So I asked him about He-Man because he is a, a man of that era, and I got a very so somber and harrowing <laughs> yes on whether or not it should be in or not. Lord Drift, an appropriate name for this, had fighting words in case Catan didn't get in, and the whole producer pod said, it's got to be the lawnmower, also known as the Fisher Price Corn Popper. And by the way, if you're kind of hearing all this stuff and you're not sure what any of these games are, don't worry. We have the full breakdown by toy. That is naturally over at RochesterFirst.com.